Suppose you have a polygonal region defined by several straight lines. How do you locate the vertices of the region? You can solve many systems of linear equations. For example, suppose we want to find the vertices of the planar region satisfying all of the following inequalities. The vertices will be the intersection of two of the lines. Since there are four lines, we'll need to find the intersection of But that's going to be a lot of work, and some of these intersections won't be vertices of the region. And it only gets worse with more equations and more variables. The problem is this. Since the region is defined by the inequalities, solving the system of equalities will give us extraneous solutions. They'll be the places where two boundary curves intersect outside of the region. So how can we work with the inequalities directly? In general, you can eliminate an inequality by adding something. So an inequality like 3x plus y less than or equal to 15 could be eliminated by adding a non-negative quantity. Likewise, 2y minus x less than or equal to 20 becomes, and so on for the others. These new variables we've introduced are referred to as slack variables, and notice that in order to satisfy the inequalities, they have to be non-negative. And if any of the slack variables are zero, the corresponding point is going to be on a boundary line. So the slack variables give us a system of equations. Since this is a system of four equations and six unknowns, it will generally have an infinite number of solutions. But in order for a point x, y to satisfy all the inequalities, the ci's must be non-negative. Moreover, since all vertices are on the boundary, we'll need at least one of the ci's to be zero. So the vertices of the region correspond to the solutions x, y, where at least one ci is zero for some value of i, and the remaining values of ci are greater than or equal to zero. Since our system has four equations and six variables, there are at least two free variables. And in order to be inside the region, these free variables can't have negative values. Now, because they're free variables, we can guarantee this by not giving them negative values. On the other hand, since there are four slack variables, at least two of them will be basic variables. And this suggests the following approach. Set all free variables to zero, which corresponds to a point on the boundary, Solve for the remaining slack variables, and if those variables are non-negative, the corresponding x, y are the coordinates of a vertex in the region. So our system gives us the matrix. It will be convenient to find the reduced row echelon form. Our free variables are c3 and c4. If c3 and c4 are both zero, then the remaining variables are. And since all the ci's are non-negative, the point negative 4 7 satisfies all the inequalities, and so it's a vertex of our region. Now, at this point, we'll introduce a useful idea. Whether or not a variable is free depends on the way we order the variables. In this problem, c3 and c4 are the free variables only because they were listed last. What if they weren't? Since there are four slack variables, two of which will be free, let's choose pairs and see if the remaining slack variables are non-negative. So suppose c2 and c4 are zero. Then the last line corresponds to the equation And so C3 is 10. Then the third line gives us... So C1 is 40. And since all the CIs are non-negative, 
the corresponding value of xy will satisfy all of the inequalities, so it's worth the effort of finding. The second equation gives us at our values of c3 and c4 we get And finally, and so negative 10, 5 is another vertex. What if c1 and c4 are the free variables and set equal to 0? Then the third equation gives us, and so c3 is negative 10, but a negative slack variable means we've broken one of the inequalities. In this case, since x plus 2y plus c3 equals 10, then a negative value of x means that x plus 2y is greater than 10, whereas we actually wanted it to be less than or equal to 10. Since the point is outside the region, we don't need to compute any further values for it. If c2 and c3 are 0, then the last line gives us which gives us a negative value for a slack variable, so the corresponding point will violate one of the inequalities, the fourth one, in fact. If c1 and c3 are 0, then the third line gives us, and the last line tells us, So all the CIs are non-negative, and the corresponding point satisfies the inequalities. We find and so 4, 3 is another vertex of the region. Finally, if C1 and C2 are both 0, then the last two rows give us the system whose solution is so the corresponding xy will fail both the third and fourth inequalities. So putting everything together, we find that our region has three vertices.